Now, our today's topic is heat energy. Uh, this is not the first time of defining heat energy. We define heat energy as the forms of energy that transfer from hot body to cool body or the forms of energy that transfer from one body to another as a result of temperature difference. The unit of energy is Joule. Therefore, the unit of heat energy is also what? Joule. Now, today's topic, we are going to base it on what are the factors on which the quantity of heat in the body depends on. The quantity of heat in the body depends on three factors. The first one is the mass of the body. How big the body is. So you, the quantity of heat they are going to supply to a small body will be different from that of what big body. Therefore, the, one of the factors is mass of that body, mass L. Then the another factor is temperature different. Has it changed in temperature? For instance, if you have this body and you place it by the fire, if initial temperature is 10 and you allow it there until temperature change to 30. So you should not expect the quantity of heat there to when you allow it to stay until temperature change to 60. Therefore, the one another factor on which the quantity of heat in the body depends is also what temperature change. So number two, we have what change temperature temperature change that is change in temperature. Then the third factor. The third factor is specific each capacity of body. Each substance, each material has its own specific heat capacity. That is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of that substance by one degree centigrade. Therefore, the third factor is what? Specific heat capacity of body, which is what? C. Now, how do the three factors, these three factors, eh, relate with heat energy in a body? First, the relationship is the quantity of heat in the body, that is heat energy E, freely directly with what? The mass of the body. Mass M, and it's also freely directly with what? Change in temperature. Therefore, E, energy freely with change in temperature. And this is what? Two variations. We join it together. Don't forget, now mathematics joint variation. It will now become energy in the body very directly with mass and as well as what well, change in temperature. What will now be the constant? The constant of variation is what? Specific heat capacity of body. That one will not change. If the specific heat capacity of body is 10 joule per kilogram per Kelvin, it will remain the same. Therefore, the equation will now be called that is C M the theta. So this is what the formula for finding the quantity of heat in the body. What of if we are now supplying the heat through electricity? What will now be the, the, the formula? In that case, our heat energy E will become IVT. Where T is what? Time. V footage. I current. In case if V is not given directly, eh? don't forget from Ohm's law. We have V is equal to IR. So in that case, we replace this V with IR. It will now become I square RT. So these are, are the formulas for calculating heat, quantity of heat in a body. Now, apart from this quantity of heat, we have another term called heat capacity of a body. Heat capacity. What is the quantity of heat that, that will raise the temperature of a given mass of body by one degree Kelvin or one degree Celsius. Heat capacity. Heat capacity, like I just defined now, is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a given mass of substance or material by one degree Kelvin. That one also, let's call it H, heat capacity H, very directly with mass. Yes, very directly with mass of the body. And the constant in this case is also what? Uh, specific heat capacity. Why is it that there's no change in temperature? Our change in temperature will be 1. And 1 multiplied by M will still give you mass. Therefore, there's no change in temperature in the formula of heat capacity. Therefore, heat capacity will now become, when you remove this, the place which is equal to, and what? Constant. Our constant is C. Now becomes C M. 
And don't forget our energy formula for energy E is equal to C M the theta. So if this one is what its capacity, and I have it here, so I can replace this one with this. Therefore, my form another formula for calculating energy will now become H its capacity multiplied by change in temperature. Now the last time you still need to explain under this is this specific heat capacity. I think I've defined it before. When we say specific heat capacity, that is what? Specific means unit. The quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit mass, not the whole mass this time around. If I have this one and I place it close to the fire and I discover that the temperature has increased by one, so that is what? Heat capacity. If I now try to find unit mass of this body, let's assume that this is unit mass of it. And I'll just place it again, and I discover the temperature has increased by one. So the quantity of heat supplied to this one, since this one is a unit mass, is what? Specific heat capacity. While the whole of this one is what? Heat capacity. Then, what is the uh, unit? It's very simple. That's another beauty of physics. You can get the from our drive formula, drive unit. So I'll just come back here. If this is what its capacity, I'll just make it the subject of formula. From here, make this H the subject formula. I'll go to our H is equal to E over change in temperature. Therefore, the unit for its capacity will be do per Kelvin. Now for specific its capacity from here, just make this one the subject of formula. So you are going to have C is equal to energy over uh, M d theta. So therefore, you have this one unit of energy is do. So the unit of mass now be divided as this per kilogram for mass, then Kelvin for temperature. Or you can write it as do per kilogram per Kelvin. That is that about the unit. Now, let's solve some questions. So we create a specific class for question under each energy. But let's just solve this one. The 53 grams of iron is cooled from 100 degrees centigrade to, to 20 degrees centigrade. Calculate the heat energy loss. Don't forget, under this heat energy, the amount of heat energy eh, lost by one body must be equal to amount of heat energy gain. That is, heat loss is equal to it gain. But according to this one, the body is losing it out. According to the question, is this is that same formula you are going to apply? What are the given from the question? You can see that in the question we have mass is equal to 53 gram, which is same thing as 0.053 kilogram. Then what is change in temperature? The temperature is equal to 100 minus 20, which is equal to 80 uh, Kelvin or 80 degree centigrade. Specific heat capacity to be 4.5. C is equal to 4.5 times 10 raised to power 2, which is same thing as uh, 450. Eh? 450 joule per kilogram Kelvin. Now, we have to apply our formula. Therefore, we are looking for energy loss, which is same thing as C M the theta. So our C is given 450 multiplied by what is M? Our M is 0 0.053, then multiplied by 80. That's all. So when you multiply everything together, you will get 1908. So it will be 1908 joule. That's all. The second question is on heat energy as well. We are going to apply IVT. Look at it. The question says a potential difference of 6 volt is used to produce current of 5 ampere for 200 seconds through a heating coil. The heat produced is dust. So we are looking for heat energy produced. They use uh, electricity. So in that case, we are going to apply the second formula. That is IVT. I, v, t. I is equal to 5 ampere. Then V is equal to 6 volts. Then T is equal to 200 seconds. 
So they are all in an ISI unit. You don't need to convert today. So therefore, total energy with what? I, that is uh, 5 times 6 times 200. This is 30, then multiply by 200. So this one will give you 6,000. 6,000 joules. So that is that about the first part of each energy. So the next one will be on latent heat.